Hi everyone, it's Kathy here and today I'm going to share with you how to make a flower on a loom. For my sample today I will be using this loom from Clover and you can make a variety of flowers. We're going to make a simple circular flower like this. The sample that I'm going to share with you is this particular flower which I've created using the pale blue for the petals and I'm also going to show you how to finish it off to create this satin stitch type centre using a contrasting colour to make it just a little bit easier. For more details I will be posting this on my blog So Creative and also you can find this on the Kazercraft site on the blog um, under Tuesday Tip which I'll be sharing um, some other examples as well. So. Just to get started, this is what you'll need. You'll need the loom, obviously, from Clover. You need some wool, some scissors. I've also got here um, a needle, and you'll notice that the needle has quite a large um, hole, which makes it great for you to uh, thread different fibres through it, and it's also blunt. Uh, the kit, the Clover flower making loom kit, comes with a uh, needle as well, but um, you can obviously use this if you don't have one of these. What I like about this is the flexibility. I'm fairly new to this. I'm still learning and obviously practice makes perfect, but um, you'll really like the results once you have a go. So I'm just going to open it up and show you what we're going to use for today's sample. Uh, as you can see, all the different parts, different shapes. I've only played with the circles. I haven't used these blue parts yet. I'm hoping to have some time to um, have a go and see how that works. So it comes apart very easily. I'm just going to move some things aside that we're not going to use. We're going to make this particular flower and I use this um, section to create it. It just inserts easily inside the loom. You just press down. I'm going to start with the blue. You'll notice that there are some uh, little inserts here. To start off, you just thread through. And pull through the, the little hole there to secure it. And I'm just going to tie it in a knot and a bow. don't need that just yet. Okay, now to start off, you go straight across and in a clockwise motion go around the peg and down again, pulling it tight as you go. I'm going to go around again this bottom post in a clockwise direction. Then I'm going to move on to the post directly next to it. Again, in a clockwise motion, wrap the yarn around the post and now I'm going to move across to this particular um, peg. And you're going to continue this all the way around, making sure that your yarn is taut. I've also discovered as I'm doing this that you need to press the center down to make sure that these loops are close to the base as possible so that they don't come loose and come off. So I'm just winding round in a clockwise motion until I've completed all the pegs. So now I'm going to wrap it around this post once more and See how it likes to come off, but that's okay. Now I'm going to release this initial tie off that I did. And I'm going to cut my yarn. And now I'm just going to thread 
this first one back through. I'm going to tie the two pieces together to secure it. And I'm just going to tie that in a bow. Now we're going to do the centre. So I'm going to put that aside and get my contrasting colour. You can use the same colour if you wish, but for the purposes of this demonstration, it's easier to see with the contrasting colour. I'm going to thread the needle that's supplied with the flower loom. And as you can see, the large opening makes it very easy to thread. It also has um, a slight curve which makes it really easy for what we're about to do. So holding your loom in your hand, from beneath, come through and find the centre. And I'm just guesstimating, that looks like that to me. Pull your yarn through, turn it over to the back and then just pull it so that you have enough so that you can hold on to it. As you can see there are all these different loops going around which create the petals of the flower. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the loop that is to the right and I'm going to insert my needle through the centre of that and go straight down. I'm going to go back up through this bottom and find that centre again and pull my thread through and now I'm going to do that same thing again, thread through the centre of the flower next to it. This is what creates that really nice satin finish. I'm going to repeat that and that's what you'll do for the entire flower. I just want to cover up that loop so I'm just going to do one final stitch to create a complete center like so. Now it's time to release the uh, flower from the loom and I'll show you how to finish it off from the back. So to do that I'm going to untie this on the side and I'm going to push the loom off like so. Keeping the uh, flowers still on the pegs I'm going to start off with the centre. So I'm just going to cut this off because it is quite long and re-thread my needle. And I'm just going to wind the ends in. So I'm going to just slide this under one loop and pull it tight and as close as I can just snip it off. Now I'm going to slide my flower off the loom and I'm going to just shorten these threads as well. And I'm going to repeat that same step. So I'm going to re-thread
my needle, turning my work to the back and again just sliding it under one of the stitches formed when we created that centre. That's nice and secure so I can cut that off. And finally the final thread is completed in the same way. As I was experimenting creating these flowers I did tend to just tie them off because knowing that they'd be um, used on a project. However, I found that it became a bit bulky. So this is another method for you to use. Tying off is um, still okay but I just found that um, your flower lays flatter and there you go it's completed. I actually um, like this look and there's different types of um, flowers that I experimented with last night so I'll just share with you the possibilities. This was created using some jute and the stitching is another um, technique that you can use to finish um, your loom and I'll show you that in another post. This is created in the same way and that's just using baker's twine and I really like the look of that. I found that um, with all the different fibres the possibilities are just endless. This is also another sample of baker's twine. This is ribbon and I used a stitched centre finish. You can always put a brad or another flower in the centre if you don't want the stitch or on its own it is quite nice. This is with another different um, type of cord and it's quite shimmery. This is a good practice a sample. I probably won't use it but it's just something that I experimented with. With the loom not only can you do one centre at a time but you can combine. So this was a combination of using the largest section with the middle size section and um, you can use contrasting colours to create um, different effects. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and hope you give it a try. I will have more instructions on my blog and again you can check out the Kaisercraft blog for the Tuesday tip to see some more samples of how I use this on the layout. Thanks for stopping by.